Princess Catherine look gorgeous in a chic black and white spotty midi dress by Alessandra Rich, as she is all smiles as Prince William takes part in one of the oldest royal traditions, the Order of the Garter Service. The stylish ensemble chosen by Catherine bore a striking resemblance to a dress her late mother-in-law had worn to Royal Ascot back in 1988, capturing a sense of timeless elegance. Today marks another momentous occasion for the royal family as King Charles leads his first Garter Day service at St George's Chapel in Windsor. King Charles will be joined by his wife, Queen Camilla, 75, as well as the Princess Royal, the Prince and Princess of Wales, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. The royals will talk in procession to the chapel, and after the service will depart by carriages for their return journey to the castle. The Princess of Wales and the Duchess of Edinburgh, 58, were pictured chatting and laughing animatedly as they arrived at the service. Both ladies looked stunning, with Kate opting for a high-necked polka dot dress by Alessandra Rich, with a Philip Tracy hat. Sophie looked lovely in a floral A-line dress with a matching hat. Devoted fans of the royal family soon discovered the exquisite details of Catherine's sophisticated gown. The high-necked silhouette boasted voluminous sleeves adorned with delicate button detailing, while ruching around the waistline bore a remarkable resemblance to a Victor Edelstein creation worn by Princess Diana. Paying homage to her late mother-in-law's iconic style, the Princess of Wales skillfully incorporated the polka dot print of her dress into her captivating headpiece. Her black Philip Tracy fascinator flawlessly mirrored the dress's pattern, a testament to her impeccable fashion sense. To complete her regal attire, she adorned herself with the Collingwood pearl earrings once worn by the late Princess Diana, a cherished gift received on her wedding day in 1981. The current Princess of Wales previously wore these jewels on Anzac Day in 2022, after first debuting them in 2017 for a Spanish state banquet. Princess Diana, 35 years ago, showcased her sartorial finesse by expertly matching the print of her polka dot dress to her statement hat, while keeping her jewellery minimal with her iconic pearl drop earrings and a matching bracelet worn during the Queen's funeral. Embracing the spirit of Ascot, Catherine's ensemble was completed with a nude clutch bag and elegant white heels adorned with black toes, reminiscent of a pair Diana had worn to the prestigious event. The royal finished off her ensemble with a nude clutch bag and white heels with a black toe, which are clearly inspired by a pair Diana wore to Ascot. Order of the Garter Day comes just two days after the royal family were out in force to celebrate the king's official birthday at Trooping the Colour. The Order of the Garter is the oldest and most senior order of chivalry in Britain, established by King Edward III nearly 700 years ago. The order includes the king, who is sovereign of the garter, the queen, several members of the royal family, and 18 knights or ladies chosen in recognition of their work. Foreign royals have been given honorary stranger knight status since 1813, with controversial recipients over the years including Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany before World War I. Knights of the Garter are chosen personally by the Sovereign to honour those who have held public office, who have contributed in a particular way to national life or who have served the Sovereign personally. Princess Catherine made her debut at the event in 2008 as William's girlfriend when he received his Order of the Garter knighthood. Wearing an elegant black and white outfit, the Princess of Wales was spotted chatting with Prince Harry and Camilla. Princess Catherine's attendance was significant, showing that she was being welcomed into the royal family fold.